it has to be something that is as easy as to use as their cell phones. And so part of what we're delivering is the capability to take a thing right out of the box, push a button, apply power, and instantly they're connected. Hi, we're here today at DSCI 2025 at the Project Kuiper booth, which is the LEO uh, satellite network from Amazon. And I'm standing here with Rich Pang, Head of Business Development for the Kuiper Government Solution. Hi, Rich. Hi, Alex. How are you? Very good. Thank you. And thanks for taking the time to speak with me today. So, Project Kuiper, as you can imagine, and especially with such a beautiful booth, has been the talk of the town at DSCI. Uh, so I was wondering if you can tell me to start off a little bit how you think a project like Kuiper uh, can change the way that NATO forces communicate and stay connected in challenging environments. Absolutely. Not only is NATO alliance, uh, but all coalitions, because no country goes to conflict alone today. So it's very important that they're able to interoperate uh, with each other and communicate with each other seamlessly. And I think a system like Kuiper that we're delivering here in the next couple of years will do exactly that, allow different disparate forces to communicate seamlessly across the environment, whether it's in the air, on the land, or in, in, the, in the water. Okay. And, well, I imagine as part of your job, you must be speaking quite a lot with the government and with your clients. So, from your point of view, what are the critical end users, um, you know, needs that they have for these types of solutions? Yeah, because everything's moving so rapidly, I think it's very important to have a system that is easy for the individual soldiers, Marines, airmen to use. It can't be a very complicated system that takes a lot of people, a lot of man hours to set up. It has to be something that is as easy as to use as their cell phones. And so part of what we're delivering is the capability to take a thing right out of the box, push a button, apply power, and instantly they're connected just as easy it is for you to turn on your cell phone when you travel around the world. All right. Well, actually, you preempted my next question, which was going to be, obviously, in these challenging environments, as you said, you know, they don't have time to think about how to deploy. So ease of use, but also swap, size, weight, and power, I'm assuming are critical um, points that you need to take care of. So how does Project Kuiper answer these? What are the... Uh, Maybe not the secret sauce, I know you can't tell me, but how do you respond to this? Yeah, I mean, strictly because of physics, because our satellites are so much closer to the Earth, the antennas that the individual needs to carry with them can be much smaller and won't use as much power for us to be able to close the link to create that connection between the ground and the satellites. And so we're helping them, you know, carry less into the battlefield as far as communications equipment, and then they can carry more food, more ammunition, things like that that are more important to them. Okay, and of course, if we're talking communications and staying connected, this is like a critical need, and therefore you also need security. So from your point of view and from the point of view of the conversations that you've had, um, what are the non-negotiable for the security of such a system? Yeah, absolutely. Amazon as a whole always believes in uh, customer privacy, and we translate that into security for our government customers. And so it's very important that whatever solution we deliver, is very secure, very resilient, and, and redundant to ensure that when they need to speak to somebody or need to send information or receive information, it's there when at a moment's notice. And so security is at the forefront of everything we do here. So how do you make that happen? Uh, we like to put commercial encryption around everything we do, not only on the communications itself, the information, the data we pass, mm -hmm. but also around the management and control links and the links that we use to control the satellites and so that people can't do traffic analysis about the amount of information you're using, how big the pipe is that you're using to pass the information. And so we keep every layer secure so that no one can intercept that information, not only intercept the information and decrypt it, but also that they can't do any analysis of the actual traffic that's passing, you know. A lot of times people can tell what's going on in a particular location by the amount of traffic that's being passed in that location. Yeah. And so we try to protect that layer as well. Oh, interesting, really interesting. Uh, well, thank you so much for your time today. It's a pleasure. Is there, before we finish for today, is there anything that you're particularly excited about for today, for this show, for the roadmap? Yeah, absolutely. You know, uh, having spent m much of my life in uniform, now that I'm out of uniform, there are always many different ways to serve your, your country and, and, and the planet, right? And so I am very excited about the capability that we're bringing to support the warfighter.
thank you so much for your time, Rich. It's been a pleasure and uh, have a wonderful show. Appreciate it, Alex. Thank you. Thanks.